That sounds like BS. Yeah, it does. That's, I'm calling it. It's BS! Adjusting my watch up. People get so offended <laughs> on my videos. Every now and then I'll be making a video and then a little bit of clay will touch my watch and they're like, your watch! Ah! People get so concerned about that. I mean, I think I'm just used to clay. Like, all right, here's my phone. I'm just used to my stuff having clay all over it. Like, here's the mouse. This is the mouse that I use. Uh, my stream deck, here it is. All of its clayed up glory. Uh, let's see, you got all over my camera stand. You should see my camera. It's got some splat. I'm gonna have to clean the splatters off of this one pretty soon. Every now and then it kind of fiddles with the functioning of it. Uh, of course, my clothes every day. I've been thinking I need to get an apron. I've been doing this for 15 years and I like haven't thought to buy myself an apron, you know, like with the split legs or whatever. I should probably do that. Maybe get five of those. It probably, it would certainly keep my clothes a bit cleaner. Next, fun fact. Scotland chose a unicorn as its national animal. Is that for real? Because that feels like a cop out. That feels like cheating to me because it, it shouldn't even, it, it's not the, your national fantasy animal, it's your national animal. If you guys get unicorns, I get dragon. Or I get phoenix. There are a bajillion things, bajillion other fantasy animals that are way better than unicorn. What about a griffin? What about a, um, what are those things called? Chimera? No. Hippogriff. I choose a hippogriff. Bill says, sounds like BS. Yeah, it does. That's, I'm calling it. It's BS! Sphinx! A sphinx! That's right, Bill. Scotland, you broke the rules. You don't get a national anthem. I mean, you get a national anthem. You don't get a national animal. <laughs> no national animal for you. What would the national? You guys know the solution is, Scotland, you just don't get to pick. Since you did not pick an actual animal, you don't get to pick, and everybody else gets to choose for you. And we're gonna figure out what their national animal should be. And it should be kind of a punishment for them not playing the game the right way, in my opinion. I've watched Buzz and I have no idea why. So, for the next few minutes, we are going to take this mug. It had a big air pocket in it. Probably because I slammed it down so hard I was angry with Scotland. Scotland, you messed up my mug. <laughs> I did it again. Slam! It probably just had a little air pocket in it. Uh, I did not realize. It shouldn't have though. Bill says it should be a sheep. Yeah, it should be a sheep. That makes sense for Scotland. Or, I don't know, what, what would be a, an animal that would also be a punishment for Scotland? Are there any like really, really lame animals? I mean, lamer than a unicorn? I don't know, maybe they should just keep the unicorns, because in my opinion, unicorns are kind of lame. It, as far as mythical creatures, it's like a, a basic animal with a horn. It just seems like a cop-out. It's like not creative at all. Let's just slap a horn on it. Narwhals? Now, narwhals are cool because they're real, and, it's, and the horn is not actually a horn. It's a long, huge, weird tooth. Fun fact, you guys know that? Pegasus. Now, at least a Pegasus is better than a unicorn. It has wings. It is marginally more creative than just a horn. I guess we'll just have to move on from the Scotland thing. Congratulations, Scotland. Your national an animal is now a sheep. Marginally, yeah. That's right, Bill. I wonder if any other countries have fake animals for their national animals. Huh. Fun fact! 